Villains in video games are just as important as video games' protagonists, if not more. They provide conflict for the hero to fight against, motivate players to progress, and sometimes even offer comedic relief. Frankly, video games wouldn't be as colorful without them. So to pay homage to some of the menacing greats, here's our list of the best villains in video games. Even though this villain is rounding out our list, don't let that fool you. He is one of the most iconic villains in gaming history, and the threat he poses is almost as big as he is. It's Bowser. The main antagonist in the Mario franchise, Bowser is literally a fire-breathing dragon whose bark is loud and also burns. Obsessed with trying to make the princess his and take over the Mushroom Kingdom, Bowser has the power to turn citizens of the kingdom into his minions. Transforming cute creatures into henchmen is impressive, but not as much as his resilience to keep trying to attain his goal no matter how many times he fails. There's nothing more terrifying than coming face to face with the realities of financial responsibilities, especially when you're playing a video game. In Animal Crossing, Tom Nook is the worst kind of debt collector any gamer will encounter, and boy does he run your pockets dry. Arriving in town, players meet Nook who open-handedly gives players a home to live in. Offering players to pay him back by working at his shop, it seems like a good deal until you realize that all your hard work never seems to go far enough. Nook has all the makings of a crime boss. He's greedy, tricks others to do his dirty work, and always is there when you have just enough money to pay up. The only difference is, in this case, looks are deceiving. <laughs> The Mortal Kombat franchise has some of the most badass villains in video games, but none are as menacing and all-powerful as Kronika from Mortal Kombat 11. It is only a matter of time. As the Keeper of Time, Kronika believes that there's an imbalance between good and evil, and she uses her powers to manipulate time to create a new timeline called the New Era. Her intentions aren't particularly villainous, but the things she does to get her way are, which includes ripping her enemies apart and putting them back together over and over again. Don't let her calm demeanor fool you. This is one Titanus you want to avoid. Most villains are open with their evil doing ways from the start. But this bad guy is unlike most. It's Albert Wesker. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. <sighs> the main antagonist of the Resident Evil franchise, surprisingly, he first appeared as a commanding officer of Stars, who helps players get supplies. Unbeknownst to players, Wesker is a double agent who is, instead, luring players into harm's way. As the series progresses, Wesker injects himself with a prototype virus to become stronger, faster, and gain the powers of regeneration. With more abilities at his disposal to face off against those that are trying to stop his mission to replace the human race, he ends up being a bigger threat than the zombies themselves. Wesker, our next villain, also has a superiority complex that has him thinking he's humanity's saving grace. That's right, it's the elusive man from Mass Effect. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. As his attire would indicate, the elusive man is all business. He's the leader of Serbius, a terrorist organization who believes the human race is superior to all others. Oddly enough, his unnaturally metallic blue eyes make him seem less human, 
Working in the shadows of a really cool lair, Elusive Man uses the power of society to sabotage others and create chaos. In his choice of villainy, his mind is the most terrifying asset. No, I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? When you think of big egos, there's only one villain that comes to mind, Handsome Jack from Borderlands. If the name didn't give it away, Handsome Jack thinks highly of himself, and it's probably because he's the self-appointed dictator of Pandora. In Jack's head, he is a hero and ends up stealing all the credit for the Vault Hunter's heroics in the first game. Even with all his phony glory, he still isn't satisfied and will go on a murderous rampage to get what he wants. Jack is full of delusions, he's psychotic, and you never quite know when he'll snap. So be sure to be careful around him and never mention his wife. Roman! So. In a list full of AAA titles, there is one indie that managed to make it on our list, and that's Undertale, all thanks to its main protagonist, Flowey the Flower. A truly unique villain, Flowey is the first character that players interact with. He provides the tutorial for players while tricking them to incur damage and promote violence against monsters. The players' interactions with him throughout the game change based on the decisions you make, having you double-guess his actions. Flowey is a master manipulator and, on top of that, he undergoes transformations that are bizarrely terrifying. As you learn more about Flowey, you find out that there is much more to him than that eerie smile on his face. Here comes Kilka. <gasps> Let's teach them a thing or two, or three. Even though this next choice isn't the most popular one from the Final Fantasy franchise, it doesn't mean it isn't deserving. It's Kefka Palazzo. From humble beginnings as a mage, Kefka underwent magic-infused experiments that had him become a powerful wielder of magic, but at the cost of his sanity. Deranged and bent on conquering the world, Kefka is impulsive and unpredictable. Even going as far as poisoning the drinking water in Doma for the lulls, resulting in mass casualties. Science experiment turned bad origin story? Check. Over-the-top wardrobe? Check. Maniacal laughter? Check. Kafka has all the traits to put him among some of the greatest villains of all time. Unlike other Nintendo villains, Ganon is a baddie that has no gimmick, besides his laugh. <laughs> He's the holder of the Triforce of Power and sets out time and time again to wield all three pieces of the Triforce. He is pure evil, with no rhyme or reason to seek the remaining pieces of the Triforce, even if it means picking a fight with a kid. His thirst for power is unmatched, but what's more frightening is that in the Zelda canon, Ganon wins and defeats the hero thus breaking the mold of bosses in video games and making him one villain that shouldn't be taken lightly. Taking the top spot on our list is one of the most memorable and enjoyable villains in games, GLaDOS from Portal. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. GLaDOS is an artificial intelligence who runs Aperture Science and tests players' abilities to solve Aperture's test chambers. When we first meet her, she's a voice that guides players through each puzzle. Her passive-aggressive, witty, and self-loving behavior is easy to charm those around her. However, as the series progress, we learn that GLaDOS is more sinister than we initially thought. In the second game, it's revealed that GLaDOS was treated poorly by scientists and she used neurotoxins to kill the scientists at Aperture Science. GLaDOS's story may have the classic robot taking over humanity formula, but with the contrast of her robotic voice with humorous dialogue, makes for one villain you don't want to forget. The difference between us is that I can feel pain. 